It was a warm hello from the Lord Mayor. And I welcome you here this morning to uh, what is uh, the start, of course, of the G20. And then it was down to business. The International Media Centre was buzzing with press from around the world and already they were asking the tough questions. The state government was on the defensive over its handling of the Great Barrier Reef. There won't be a full environmental impact assessment. That's been a decision made by the federal government. Between the federal and state governments, uh, holistically, there's some $180 million spent on protecting and managing the Great Barrier Reef each and every year. From today, the International Media Centre will begin to fill up as the world's press descends on Brisbane for this weekend's summit. For most, it's the beginning of a long weekend. Some taking the opportunity to rest while they can. The place where all the politicians come is the place where all the political issues uh, decide. Maybe we can hear some uh, breakthroughs. The media centre is extremely well prepared. So, well, it's, it's a very, very positive impression. Very beautiful, the views and the lovely people, amazing. Over the next two days, the focus turns to the economy as the formal summit begins. Georgia Terry, QUT News.